Hi everyone, it's Jo again, just bringing, bringing you another class via video and hope you're all keeping well and staying safe as much as you can be during this current time and uncertainty. So today we're going to start all our breath work and our relaxing into the body, clearing the mind in Baddha Konasana. So if you want to bring your feet together, you can have your feet slightly apart, you can have your hands underneath the feet. You can have your hands around the ankles, or you can have the hands on the thighs, whatever feels more comfortable for you. Because we are going to do all our breath work with the eyes closed in this position. So I'm going to start the music and we're going to begin. So come into a nice place in your Balakanasana, ground through the sitting bones, allowing the spine to gently start to elongate and lengthen, closing the eyes and just beginning to connect with the breath. So taking some nice inhales and exhales through the nose. And just connecting with both the inhale and the exhale. Allowing the spine to gently elongate and lengthen. We're finding space, allowing the vertebrae to separate. And then thinking about the whole of the front part of the body starting to elongate and lengthen. And then relaxing into the two shoulder blades and allowing the top of the shoulders to release and move downwards. And if it's right for you, a gentle draw of the shoulder blades down the whole of the spine. And then gently start to scan into the face, so into the cheeks, the teeth and the jaw, the eyebrows, the eye sockets and even the eyeballs. The third eye, the space in between the eyebrows. And then just scan across the forehead, allowing all the muscles to be soft, allowing them all to switch off, become calm and become nice and still. Crown of the head reaching and rising up, so we continue that lengthening through the spine. And then bringing softness now into the lower body, into the inner thighs, the outer thighs, allowing them to gently release now from the hips. And as you find yourself becoming taller in the spine, maybe bring some more weight into the sitting bones to allow a deeper release of the legs from the hips. Relax into the feet and the toes. And really starting to slow down the breath. And any last thoughts now that occupy that mind space, we're going to put them away, put them to one side, maybe lock them away in the box. And we're going to bring ourselves right into the present moment where life actually exists. We're going to work through our flow, see what magic we can bring to the mat today, see what openness, what awareness we can bring in the body. And just give ourselves that hour away from everything. Feeling open the eyelids and bringing ourselves back into the room. So we're going to begin by taking the fingertips just behind the spine, maybe about an inch away from the spine, fingertips to the floor, arms engaged. If this is too much for your fingertips, you can bring the palms down. Taking a big inhale, lift and lengthen even more through the whole of the spinal column. As we exhale, lift the sitting bones off the floor and allow that openness now to come even more into the inner and outer thigh. Just holding here. Releasing, finding space, allowing the hips to open, allowing the feet to be soft. One more breath. And gently draw the sitting bones down. Take a breath, take a breath, and we're going to do it one more time. Again, if you want to bring the palms down, bring the palms down, that's fine. Take an inhale, drive height, drive lift, drive length. And as we exhale, lift the sitting bones off the floor. Find that space. 
Let go, let go of whatever is going on in here. One more breath. And release. Taking the legs out in front now. We're going to take the right foot into half lotus. So we're going to drive the right heel as high as we can up towards the left thigh, drop it in. And then we're going to just gently draw left heel so it comes underneath the right knee. Sitting bone strong, back nice and long. Taking the inhale, drive the right arm as round as far as possible, maybe even go for the toe. If you can't, go for the side of the hip or the lower back. As we exhale, left hand comes onto the right thigh. Take another inhale, lift and lengthen, and as we exhale, we're going to gently twist, keeping the twist. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, drive that right shoulder blade round. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, come into your twist. One more time. Inhale, lift and lengthen, shoulder blades low. Exhale, feel your twist. And release, swap inside. Take right hand, top of left thigh, right hand comes round. Take an inhale, lift up, exhale into your twist. Inhale, lift up, exhale, twist. Inhale, rise up, shoulder blades low, spine long. Exhale into your twist. One more time. Inhale, rise up, exhale into your twist. And release, swapping legs now. Right foot comes underneath. Take the left side of the foot and we're going to take it all the way up into half lotus. Just allowing that heel to come underneath the knee. When you're ready, take a big inhale, drive the left arm around, grab the toe, the back or the hip. Exhale, right hand to the top of the left arm. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, into your twist. Inhale, spine long. Exhale into your twist. Inhale, rise up. Exhale into your twist. Last time. Inhale, rise up. Exhale into your twist. And release from the sides. Inhale, take the right arm round. Bring it to the lower spine, side of the leg or the hip. Exhale, left hand to the top of the right of the leg. Inhale, rise up, spine long, shoulder blades down. Exhale into your twist. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, gaze over the shoulder. Inhale, rise up. Exhale. Last time. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, into your twist. And then bring it round now back to your centre line. Release the legs. And we're going to come all the way down now onto the backs. Half happy baby. So bring the spine down. Shoulder blades away from the ears. Release the left leg completely straight. Flex the foot. And we're going to take an inhale. Drive the right leg up. Take the side of the right foot. And we're going to drive that right knee down towards the arm foot. Heel to the ceiling. Left hand stays on left hip flexor. So nice hamstring stretch. And we're really working juicy into the hips now. Making sure heel stays above the knee. Hips and pelvis square. And just breathing in that openness. Two more breaths, keeping the left foot flexed. And release, slowly release the right leg all the way down to the mat. Flex the foot, right hand on right hip, left toe comes to the side of the left foot, take the left and then we're going to gently work that in towards the armpit. Heel stays above the knee. Knee is bent. Pressing right hand into the right hip flexor, keeping left leg engaged and right hamstring engaged at the same time. Breathing in space, openness and awareness. Two more breaths. And release, lowering the leg all the way down. And then we're going to come all the way up to sit. Swizzle the legs around. 
And we're going to come into a forearm plank now. So, taking the hands in line with your elbows, with your shoulders, middle finger facing forward, strong connection with your palms with the mat. So really, really grabbing the floor and connecting. Slowly walking the toes back, bringing in activation into the shoulders, tailbone tucked, finding that space into the shoulders, breathing, belly to spark. So just holding this for a few breaths now. Really engaging into the shoulders, tailbone tucks. Gaze ahead or in between your fingers. One more breath. And lower the knees now. Bringing the hands together, we're going to clasp them. And we're going to come into a dolphin position with clasped hands. So we're going to slowly start to thread the head through, walk the feet up, take them hip width apart. We're coming into this dolphin now. We're going to really start to send the tailbone to the ceiling, find space. Upper arms externally rotating and wrapping those shoulder blades. Grounding through the feet, lifting the kneecaps and finding space now. Really waking up those shoulders. Two more breaths. And then we're going to release the hands, take the gaze in front, and we're going to come up to a downward facing dog. First down dog again, just pedal through the heels. Really starting to find that length now through the spine. Keep pedaling. Gazing right towards the top of the belly. Nice strong hands, pressing them that way. One more breath. And then come back to neutral, downward facing dog position. We're going to take a jump, so we're going to jump the feet to halfway up the mat and move into yogi squat. So when you're ready, prepare, take the gaze in between the hands, come up onto the tiptoes, bend the knees, and we're just going to jump. Hands into the centre of the chest, widen through the lower back, grounding into all four corners of the feet. And spend a few breaths here, finding space, really working into those hips. Shoulder blades back and down. Thighs moving towards the belly. One more breath. Taking the arms out in front, we're going to rise all the way up to stand. So rising all the way up. And release. Come into the front of your mat now. Toes together, heels are both about an inch apart. Core engaged, tailbone tucked. Finding the breath, allowing ourselves to settle and prepare for the sun salutations. So hands towards the heart centre. Inhale, rise all the way up, mountain pose. Exhale, sweep the arms, hands to the side of the feet, head come. Inhale, up into fingertips, long look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, back up onto fingertips, long look ahead. Exhale, step back into plank position. Regular plank, breathing in that space. Belly to spine, shoulder blades engaged. One more breath. And exhale, knees, elbows in, chin, chest, release the feet, inhale up, cobra, exhale, downward facing dog. Walk the feet in an inch and a half now. Keeping the feet hip width apart now, we're just going to take an inhale, and we're going to send the right leg out towards the side, we're going to hover it about three inches off the floor. Make sure the tailbone stays nice and long. We're just literally hovering, straight engaged leg, two inches off the floor. Hips and pelvis remain square. One more breath. And release it back down, left side. 
take the left foot out, just hover it two to three inches off the floor, tailbone lengthening, elbows engaged, arms wrapping, one more breath, and release. Bring the feet together, take an inhale, step right foot forward, left to join, exhale, forward fold. Inhale all the way back up to your mountain pose. Exhale, hands for heart center. Inhale, rise up mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Hands to side of the feet, that comes in. Inhale, up into fingertips, long look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, back up onto fingertips, long look forward. Exhale, step back into your plank. Holding your plank, maintain the shoulders, the core. Just slowly take the right leg up, one leg plank for one, two, and three. Left side, one, two, and three. Inhale into the shoulders, exhale, knees, chin, chest, release the feet. Inhale up, cobra, exhale, down the facing dog. Step the feet in an inch and a half now. Revolve down the facing dog. So when you're ready, take the right foot off the mat, right hand off the mat, sorry. Take the left shin, ankle, maybe even the heel. We're gonna gaze through the left armpit. Tailbone lengthening, breathing. Belly to spine. Feet strong, knees lifted. One more breath, elbows engaged. And release. Left side, release the left hand off the mat as we inhale, exhale it into our revolve down the facing dog. Keeping tailbone strong, breath steady. Gaze underneath the right armpit, knees lifted. One more breath. And release. Inhale, step right foot forward, left to join, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way back up, palms together, exhale, hands to the heart center. Inhale, all the way back up, exhale, forward fold. Hands to the side of the feet, hip comes in. Inhale, up into fingertips, long look forward, exhale, fold. Inhale, back up onto fingertips, long look ahead, exhale, step back into plank. Straight away, forearm plank. Maintaining those shoulders, to the tailbone. Belly to spine. Breathe in, find space. Let that breath keep flowing. One more breath. Inhale, push back up to your plank and exhale into your position. Inhale into shoulders, exhale knees, chin, chest, release the feet. Inhale through, cobra, exhale, down with facing dog. Regular down dog feet hit with the partner. If you still need to pedal through the feet, pedal through the feet, or five breaths now. If your heels are down, start to lift your toes, lift your knees, find expansion through the back of the knees. Belly to spine, upper arms wrapping, externally rotating, wrapping, wrapping the shoulder blades. One more breath, press the floor away. Prepare as we inhale, step right foot forward, left to join. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Head comes in. Inhale up to fingertips, long look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale back up onto fingertips, long look ahead. Exhale and step back into plank. Regular plank. Rising up into the shoulders, core engaged, tailbone tuck. Chaturanga now, or knees, chin, chest. Inhale into the shoulders. Exhale, Chaturanga, elbows in and close the ribcage. Inhale, Cobra, or up dog. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk the feet in an inch and a half. Bring the feet together now. Breathing, creating space. High up onto the tiptoes. As we inhale, exhale, send the heart and chest to the thighs. Gaze towards the top of the hip flexors. Lift the knees. One more breath. Exhale the heels down. Inhale, step right foot forward. Left to join. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Palms together. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Hands beside the feet, head comes in. Inhale, up to three fingertips, long look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, back onto the fingertips, long look forward. Exhale, step back into the plank. Regular plank. Breathing in, engagement, tailbone in touch. Strong hands. Inhale into the shoulders. Exhale, chaturanga, elbows in and close to the ribs. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down facing dog. So, bring in all your alignment cues in your down dog now. And then what we're going to do is inhale, drive the right leg up. Exhale, up onto the left tippy toes, drive right knee to right nose. One. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Exhale, knee to nose. And release, left side. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Exhale, knee to nose. One more time. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Bring it back to regular down dog. From here, inhale and step. Right foot forward. Left foot is going to stay at the back now. We're going to prepare for warrior one. So we don't have to push this. Right knee over right ankle. Left foot is slightly out to the side. We're going to rise up. So you'll probably find that your hips are slightly to the side. We're going to work on lengthen through this back leg and really rotating those hips round. So find the position, work those hips round, and then we're going to inhale, rise up, warrior one. Breathe in space, making sure right knee is over right ankle. One more breath. Inhale, open the arms, exhale, warrior two. So readjust the legs if you need to, open through the hips, torso engage, tailbone in tucked. Warrior two, gazing towards the fingertips. Finding that breath, finding that space. Making sure we're lifting up through this back knee, strong heel. Inhale, release the hands behind the back, clasp them together. Exhale, we're coming through a forward fold, not humble warrior. Forward fold through the centre of the legs. Right knee stays bent, tailbones to the ceiling, and breathe. Five breaths. Straight through the centre of those legs. One last breath. Inhale, rise up, and exhale the arms out. So you're starting to twizzle this back leg now, we're going to move it to high lunge. So lifting up through this right left leg, taking an inhale, rising up. Strong engagement through that back heel, sorry front heel. <laughs> high lunge, one more breath. Inhale, 
Take an inhale, flat palms down, exhale, downward facing dog. Regular downward facing dog, tailbone to the ceiling, pressing the floor away, tailbone lengthening. If your hamstrings are still feeling a bit tight, just walk through the feet. One more breath. Same sequence on the left now. Take an inhale, step left foot forward, right leg stays towards the back of the mat, heel to heel alignment, right foot out slightly. Preparing for your warrior one. Inhale, rise up, square off the hips, exhale. So really working on bringing those hips nice and square, back leg lengthening, back knee engage. Three more breaths. Belly lengthening. Moving on to warrior two now. Inhale and exhale into your warrior two. Thinking about tucking tailbone, releasing through the hips, finding that space. Arm shoulder height, shoulder soft. One more breath. Inhale, clasp the arms and exhale, forward fold, straight down the center. Breathe in, find the space. Same with it. One more breath. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, start to twist that back leg, high lunge. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, on shoulder width apart, left knee over left ankle, right leg engage. Belly lengthening, breath flowing, hips square. Two more breaths. Inhale, flat palms down, exhale, down for facing dog. A few breaths here. Upper arms externally rotating, tailbone lengthening, knees lifted. If your heels are coming down, lift the toes. Belly to spine. Take an inhale, step right foot forward. Left leg's going to stay at the back now. We're going to come back up into our high lunge. So inhale, rising up. Hold your high lunge. Breathe. And then releasing that left leg all the way down. Release the foot. And we're going to come deep. So send the right knee further forward than the ankle. Belly long. Hands on the hip for a few breaths. As the hip flexors start to release, right knee in line with right hip. Belly lengthening, tailbone tucking. One more breath. Arms come all the way up for two more breaths. Lengthen, tailbone tuck. Keep releasing into those hips. Last breath. Inhale, flat palms down, exhale, tuck. And release back into your downward facing dog. Same sequence on the left side. Just a few more breaths in your down dog. Regulate the breath. Really enjoy this down dog now and all the space it brings in. Take an inhale, step left foot forward, right leg stays at the back of the back. 
Nice long lunge. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, hold. Five breaths. Keep lifting and lengthening through the belly. Arm shoulder width apart. Gaze ahead or up. Two more breaths. Slowly lowering it all the way down. Bring the hands to the hips. Release the back foot and just start to get into that hip flexor. Allow the stretch to come. Belly lengthening. Finding that space. Rising up, feet lifted. Knee in line with hip. Inhale, rise the arms up. And exhale. Keep lengthening through that belly. Hip square. Last breath. Inhale, flat palm down. Exhale. Step back to down, facing down. So in your down dog again, if your hamstrings are still tight, you can pedal. Or we're just going to breathe in that space. Or maybe just take a rest. Embracing whatever is coming up for you right now. Keep lifting up through the knees, externally wrapping upper arms, wrapping the shoulder blades, pressing the floor away. And then we're just going to slowly walk to the centre of the mat. Take the feet hip width apart, take the hands to the toes. If your hamstrings are still a bit tight, take a slight bend in the knee. But we're going to really start to elongate. Inhale, long look ahead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, long look ahead. Exhale, into your foot. Inhale, long look ahead. Exhale, fold. And then we're going to hold now here, wherever you've got to. Elbows out, shoulders away from ears, lengthening, finding that space, lifting through the kneecaps, separating our sitting bones. Take an in, now lift the head. And then exhale, just have the feet a little bit wider now, go a bit further than hip width apart. Taking an inhale, we're going to bend into the left leg. And as we exhale, take the left arm around through. And then see if you can take the right arm round and take a bind. Left leg, right leg stays straight. We're going to open the heart and chest, round up and open. So we're gazing above our right shoulder. Come into a nice twist. So, right leg straight, left leg bent. Really open and releasing space. Breathe in, keep rotating the heart, chest and rib cage. One last breath. And then we're going to slowly start to release. We're going to come to the other side. So we're going to straighten up the left leg, take an inhale, bend the right leg, thread the right arm through, left arm comes around the back, as we exhale, taking our bind, our fingers, wherever we can take. And then opening the heart, the chest, the rib cage. Gazing round up and open, past the left shoulder. Strong feet, left leg straight and strong. Really rotating and opening now. Two more breaths. And release. Back to your centre line. From here now, we're going to bring the fingertips to the floor and we're going to peel all the way back up to stand. And now I'm going to come this way now to show you, come through our big toe holes. So, prepare, feet hip width apart. What we're going to do is going to keep left hand on left hip. We're going to take the right leg up, hold the right toe for five breaths. Let go, hold it for three, let it come down. So feet hip width apart, take an inhale, drive the right leg up, take the right toe. 
Exhale, start to extend. Lift the heart, the chest, the rib cage. Lengthen through the back of the left knee. Spine long, tailbone tucked. One more breath. Take the right hand to the right hip. We're going to hold for one, two, and three. Release. Well done. Left side. Strong presence in our right foot as we inhale the left thigh. Take the left toe as we exhale and start to extend. Lift the heart, the chest, the rib cage. Find expansion. Strong feet. And just breathe now. Find a spot to look at and breathe. One more breath. Release left hand to the left hip and hold for one, two, and three. Release, well done. Bring your feet hip width apart. We're going to take a fold. We're going to come all the way down. Maybe see if we can bring our palms down. If we can't bring our palms down, bring the fingertips or slightly bend the knees. And we're stepping back to our down, we're facing up. So make sure we're pressing the floor and left and through the spine. One more breath. And then we're gonna lower the knees, release the shins. And we're going to come into extended puppy dog pose. So walking the hands as we inhale, exhale, melting the heart, the chest, the rib cage, all the way down. Keep finding that space. Belly to spine, lengthening. Tailbone reaching up to the ceiling. Hips under the knees. And then a slow walk back. So we're now going to come in some dolphin push-ups. So great for building shoulder strength. Great for really working to the shoulders and some upper body work. So take hands together now. We're going to clasp them together. Elbows in line with the shoulders, and we're going to slowly take the legs up into like a down dog, but it's not a full down dog. Taking an inhale, drive the head forward, maybe even the nose. Exhale, send the head through. Inhale, hinge forward, nose to floor if you can. Exhale, press back through. Two more times. Inhale, drive forward. Exhale, push back. Last time. Inhale, drive forward. Exhale, push back through. And release. Release the knees down. Sitting bones towards the heels. I'm going to come into a child's pose now. So lengthen through the spine. Maybe bring that arm out in front. Or maybe even drop the arms behind. Whatever feels good for you. Take a few breaths here now. Allow the breath to regulate. Two more breaths in your child's pose. And slowly start to make your way up. I'm just going to put this light up. So, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have a look at headstand. So, those of you who are still very nervous, still can't do a headstand, or maybe you want to avoid this, you can fast forward the video. Those of you who still want to have a look at it and want to have a go at it, you have some options. You can one, take it to so my video stopped there, so we're just coming 
Back to the last sequence, what I ended with. So we were looking at headstand. So we're going to do practice of a headstand today. So again, if you're still learning this, be mindful. If you need to pause this and take it to a wall, take it to a wall. If you want to grab some cushions, grab something to sort of give yourself a little bit of confidence, please do so. And when you're also learning headstands, it is useful to maybe fold the mat over a couple of times. Give your head some extra cushioning, or maybe even use a cushion to bring the head onto. We're going to be practicing supported headstand. Now, those who are quite confident in their headstand can take their legs completely up. Those who are still learning headstand, are still a bit wobbly and very nervous, stay with your legs tucked towards your chest and just get used to pressing the floor away, bringing all the weight into the upper arms, really using the shoulders and having as least amount of weight in the head possible. So I'm going to demonstrate what we're going to do and then you can pause, stop, pause, stop, whatever you need to do with the video and keep practicing guys because headstand is just about practice, practice and it all comes. So taking the hands. We're going to clasp them together. We're going to have a space in between the hands where the head can go. Elbows in line with shoulders. Strong press through the floor. We're just going to release the knees back. Take the head in between the hands. Bring some weight, a little bit of weight into the head. Not too much, but really start to focus on bringing weight through the upper arms and the shoulders now. Coming up onto the toes. We're going to walk the feet in. And we're going to take one leg up at a time. Maybe see if we can bring both up. And we're going to hover here. Thighs to belly, tailbone lengthening, pressing the floor away, really working into the forearms, the shoulders. Finding that confidence and breathing. And see how long you can hold it here. If you're feeling strong and feeling good, maybe just release one foot. Tap. Draw it back up. Release the other foot. Tap. Draw it back up. See now how many of these you can do, just keeping that tuck shape. This will build strength in not only the upper body, but the core. Keep it going, see what you can do, and breathe. And then when you're ready, lower both legs down, release the shins, and take another child's pose. Whenever you do the headstand, take a child's pose after. Release the hands. Drop the head and breathe. Belly lengthening, sitting bones working towards the heels. Head is relaxed, back of the neck lengthening. Allow the breath to keep coming. And then slowly start to come all the way back up. Coming to hero pose now. So those who need it, grab a blanket, grab a block. If you don't have a block, grab some books. Stop the video, pause the video, go and grab some books. You can put books underneath the bum or a block or a bolster or cushion or blanket, whatever you need to prepare yourself for hero pose. So I'm going to do it. This way, onward. No, I'm not. I'm stay here. So, knees together, feet out towards the edge of the mat, and I'm going to roll those calves over. We're going to allow the sitting bones to sink down. Again, if you need a block, bowl style cushion, just underneath the bum, bring that into play now. So, thighs are internally rotating towards each other. Knees keep them together, and the feet keep them together. And allow that beautiful lengthening now to come through from the knees into the quads, into the hip flexors. Just bring the hands to the feet, maybe for a few breaths. Just embrace the stretch, starting to come off. Belly long, spine long. Breathing in space, breathing in openness. Keep the breath flowing. And then if you feel this pose, actually feels quite nice, nice now. You want to take it to the next level. The next level would be to come down to the forearms. Keep the sitting bones strong and then gently open the neck, the throat, take the gaze behind. 
And again, spend a few breaths here. Allow a lengthening coming through the hip flexors. Keeping strong in the sitting bones, either on the block or the bolster. Relaxing into the ankles. So allowing those ankles to just keep relaxing and space to come. And then if you want it to come even deeper, you can drop the head. And release the arms out by the side of you. This will be the next level. Again, allow your body to come into this next level slowly. This is not a pose to rush. You keep breathing, lengthening all through the front part of the body now. Keep internal rotation coming through the thighs. Knees together, feet releasing. And then the last level would be to just gently tuck the tailbone underneath and allow the shoulder blades to come down. Arms out by the side of you and really embrace this beautiful stretch now coming through the body. Maybe close off the eyes and take a few more breaths here. One last breath. And release. Now do this slowly. Come up onto the elbows and then come up onto the hands and bring that spine up nice and safely. Release the feet one at a time. Taking the feet hip width apart now. We're going to come into bridge pose now. So, bring the spine all the way down. Feet hip width apart. We want to readjust ourselves so our hands can just brush the back of your heels. So what we're going to do is we're going to engage the hips. We're going to lift the hips, squeeze the bum gently, draw the shoulder blades together, clasp the hands, and we're going to really open up all the body up towards the ceiling. And we're going to spend a good few breaths there. We're going to really press through the feet, make sure the knees don't bow out or bow in. Keep them in line with the hips. Internal thighs, internally wrapping and make sure they're switched on. Take an inhale, lift the hips. And exhale, roll the shoulder blades together, clasp the hands. Press through the feet, keep lifting those hips. Really, really lengthen them, finding space, squeezing the bum. Open the heart and chest up to the ceiling. Keep breathing, keep lifting, keep finding space. Maybe close the eyes as you embrace this stretch. Two more breaths. And slowly releasing all the way back down to the mat. Take a few breaths, we're going to go up one more time. This time bring the palms to the side of the mat. We're not going to roll the shoulder blades now. So we're just going to open the heart chest up, keeping the shoulder blades not as active. Take an inhale, drive the hip, squeeze the bum, and just send the heart and chest up. Press through the hands, through the forearms if you need to. Squeeze the bum. Internal rotation of thighs switched on. Press the floor away, keep breathing. Four more breaths. Keep that breath flowing. Last breath. Slowly lower the back, the spine all the way down to the mat. Take the thighs towards the belly. And we're just going to bring that arms around the shins. So I'm going to give ourselves that gentle hook.
few more breaths. So just gently hugging the thighs to the belly. Keep that spine long and tailbone lengthening. Front and half of the lower back, the sacrum area lifted off the floor. regular breath. We're going to stay away from those thoughts. We're going to stay in the moment as we move into our shavasanas. This is your turn now for you. You've earned it. And we want to let the body now absorb all the physical benefits of the practice. All that openness that you've created.
start the inhale in through the mouth or in through the nose. As you bring the awareness back into the physical body, slowly starting to roll into the femur. Keeping the legs out long in front of you, just gently start to draw them in together till they start to touch. Taking both arms up and over the head to give yourself a big, beautiful, long, yummy stretch. Stretching the fingers away from the body, stretching through the toes. And then slowly starting to draw thighs in towards the belly, taking the arms around the shins and just giving yourself that nice big hug, hugging it all in. And then you can gently start to rock from side to side, massaging the spine into the mat. And then just gently starting to rock over to one side, left or right, it doesn't matter which way the body wants to rock over. Allow the knees to come down softly. Release the hands from the shins. Just take a few moments here. Release the stillness. Embrace the body. Take it away. Slowly extending that top leg now and using it as a hinge to bring yourself all the way back up to a nice, easy seated position. Thank you very much, everyone. Namaste. Thank you everyone. Hope to see you again soon. Take care and practice safely and mindfully.